When I'm doing speech therapy for non-speaking children, I model a word, go, and then I make a thing happen. <laughs> it's coming back. <laughs> so what I like to do then is wait and see if the child expresses interest in that thing again. And if they do, then I can either model the word or I can just wait and see if they'll say the word back to me. So here are some of the things in my therapy bag right now for my non-speaking clients. So I really like wind-up toys because usually they can't activate it themselves. So I'll say go and have it do its thing. And then when it runs out, they can either say help or they can say go or they can say hop. So we can model lots of words with that. Bubbles are great because most kids love bubbles. So I will model blow, pop, again. Those are great ones for bubbles. This is a push car that you push it and then the wheels keep going. I can get these going really fast, but usually the kids can't, so they can ask for help. I can model the word fast or slow. Our go is another good one for this. This is just a rubber popper, so you, it pops. <laughs> uh, that one's good for pop or go or again, so lots of good words for that one. This is just a little pullback car that then zooms off, so again, we can do some of that. And then the other thing I like are toys that you talk into that don't really do anything unless you talk. So this is a voice changer. And if you hold down the button, it doesn't do anything until you hold it up to your mouth. <laughs> so I can model ba 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 and then put it in front of the child's mouth and see if they'll make sounds into it as well. There's also those big microphones that you can use as well. And that's a good one to do also. All right, so if you want some more information on how to do speech therapy for non-speaking children, you can go to speechandlanguagekids.com slash functional and get more tips on functional communication.